I want to get in front of something before uh, this narrative takes hold. We got to understand there's a big difference between Coach Reed and Coach Prime. It's a big difference. And I want us to get in front of it now. Okay? And I think we understand it. I'm going to give us that credit. Say we understand it. Coach Reed's situation is totally different than Deion Sanders. Coach Reed, as I've said before, has been coaching the best team on campus, at least from the standpoint of the the, 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 the teams you really be paying attention to and stuff like that. Okay? So I'm not besmirching any of the, uh, you know, those other teams because, shit, they work hard, hard too. Okay. I'm talking about from, from the standpoint of uh football, men's basketball, women's basketball. Of those three, she has been clearly coaching the best program. But yeah, it's still a situation different for Coach Prime. So let's talk about it. But make sure y'all uh also hit that subscribe button and put all your people on the realest most entertaining sports show in the game. Now let's put it on something. But let's talk about this. Coach Tabika Reed has won back-to-back-to-back SWAG championships. She's made the NCAA tournament. Um, she's defeated a Power 5 team, which, as, like I said in the video, uh, in my reaction to it, if that was football, motherfuckers would have bust a nut. Folks would have been having orgasms. Folks would have been all night long tweeting and hashtag if that was football. If we going to keep it a buck, yeah, we went undefeated this year in football, but that was partly because we didn't play them money games. We didn't play them money games well. We would have been at a disadvantage. If Coach Reed played a schedule like that, well, she only played uh, the, the, the SWAC and, and played uh, PWI, a PWI that was comparable inside, inside, she'd be undefeated. No doubt. Probably beat everybody by 20. So she she beat uh, the Sun Belt team by, by, by 30, 30 P1. She's wildly accomplished. Coach Brown worked the shit out of transfer portal, so has she. She's also been able to sign the top people from in the state. A number of them. I know we missed out on the young sister. Was it Madison Book? We missed out on her, but she was. Coach Reed's been able to get a lot of girls from in the state. They've been about that life. Dandy dozens. No, and for my real ones that are not in the state of Mississippi, Dandy dozen is uh you know one of the twelve best high school basketball players for that year. Uh, that's considered by the Clarion Ledger, which is the biggest paper here. So she holding it down. But the difference, y'all, is she does not already have generational wealth. She does not already have that. Now, by our standards, she rich. Okay? Especially in the state of Mississippi, the cost of living is low. But Coach Prime, $40 million. You Google it, they say his net worth $40 million. He might say it's more than that. You got national endorsements and all that shit. This sister ain't got that. And we know that. We understand that. And so I wanted to say this so we can get ahead of this. If this sister keep doing what she's doing, the PWI is going to be coming for her. You saw it last year when we damn near beat LSU when they motherfucking coach said that shit about how they better, they better pay you. We get it, man. Man, you know good and well these black girls at the EPWI would rather be coached by Tamika Reed than some of these folks they being coached by. Uh, uh, I was watching Aja Wilson's uh, Knuckleheads interview the other day, and she was talking about how you know, just having somebody look like her be her coach in Dunn Staley just was so amazing for her. That's it, South Carolina. 
You know what I'm saying? So one of these PWIs would love to get Coach Reed, especially the way she can recruit and connect with the girl and she can really coach her ass off. And so if she left Jack State to take one of those jobs, you could understand it. You could really understand it. And see, that's what some of these motherfuckers that's trying to get out on us about being disappointed in Coach Prime don't get. We see it. We already have somebody on our campus who's a more accomplished coach than Deion Sanders. And I think most of us would not be mad at that woman if she went and got a few million to go coach. Because she, she has not yet created generational wealth for her family. You know what I'm saying? Whereas he uh, he did by being an Atlanta Falcon and an 49 and Dallas Cowboy and all the most shit. But here's what I'm going to do, though. I, I do hope. I do hope. That she stays. But even more so, my hope is that some of the stuff I've been talking about in the other segments, that that happens. And maybe we get somebody that already got the bag that want to be a booster to pay her and her staff to stay with us. Even more so than that, I pray to God every day that God helps me in all of my endeavors. So I can help my people. So I can be the change that I seek. I won't have to get on here and say, somebody that already got the bag, do this or do that. I can get on here and let y'all know, don't worry about that, y'all. I got it. I'm going to write that check. I would love to do that. We didn't have no fucking trainers or whatever out there. We were playing who? Colorado, I think. Shit like that. Now we end up getting immediately after. But I'm just saying, whatever our people need, not just the damn sports folk, the damn uh, uh, academic side of it. See, nobody want to talk about that. This is my sports show, so I ain't going to get too far into it. I do that on some something else. But I've let it be known what I want to do. I want to be one of, if not the biggest donor to Canton Public Schools in Canton, Mississippi. The one of them, not the biggest donor, the Velma Jackson High School. Can where I'm from, Velma where I taught, Holmes County Schools where I taught, and Jack State University. That's what I want, but I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. But I hope there's somebody who is there steps in and helps us retain these people. We got another good one down here, y'all. We got one that was better than Coach Prime. She's not world famous and all that kind of shit. This woman coach her ass out, recruit her ass out. And did something the football team wasn't ready to do yet. Again, beat a power five team. And probably going to beat some more. Played very well against UCLA. And UCLA went to South Carolina and gave them girls a run for their money. Damn good coach. But you got to pay damn good people. And we get that. So, if Coach Reed should do what I anticipated her and the girls doing this year, which is make that shit full straight. Maybe win a game in the tournament. They coming for y'all. And let's just all hope that somebody wants to be a part of uh, a legacy. Somebody wants to change their legacy. Somebody wants to enhance their own life by being a blessing to Jack State. And becoming a booster. And ask God to bless those of us who desire to help and want to help even more. We just ain't there yet. But her situation is totally different from Coach Brian. 
and we get that despite what outsiders say fuck them we get that we wish her well and we hope to retain your coat put it on some thank you so much for watching my daddy's youtube channel make sure you like share and turn on your post notifications okay how do i do it